Hagia Sophia offers a wonderful opportunity for children to be surrounded by love, from loving teachers and parents and supporters who will together help raise and form these precious children into uh, the kind of people that will grow up and, and love God with their whole heart, mind, soul, and strength and love their neighbor as themselves. To learn, certainly, but they're also here to, to be completed and matured in wholeness, in the wholeness of the soul. The idea that the, the, the human being is a wholeness of body and soul and mind and imagination, uh, you know, depth of soul. In our faith tradition as Orthodox Christians, that's really what happens. That's what Orthodoxy does and that's what it's about, is that it integrates the human being and it integrates everything about human life. I think if a parent wants their child to um, be in a safe environment, uh, as well as being taught very rigorously, and live out their faith, the tradition that of the great hierarchs, for example, uh, I don't see a better education than this. We begin with prayers every day. Uh, we have a liturgy a month. Uh, we have we begin and end all of our classes with prayers. We end the day with a prayer. Uh, and also we read the lives of the saints during lunch. One of the things I love the most is when we pray together in the temple here. To have those, those young voices singing to, to God, you know, is, is just precious and, and uh, for them to be so attentive. I think the school will just provide such an infusion of energy and love of God and that's contagious. When you see young people crossing themselves, venerating the icons and bowing before Christ the Lord, if that doesn't move your heart, I don't know what will. Well, the opportunity to have that, that close connection with, with students within a small classroom, making those real personal connections is what's, what's wonderful about it. One of our greatest calls as the church is, is education. Um, in everything we do, we, we are educating. Um, but specifically having a, a school dedicated to the education of children within this community that is, that is available for, for, for those who want to send their kids here. It brings an even greater fullness of our expression as Orthodox in the greater Indianapolis area to have a school here. I just, I feel like the school is really special. You have to come and see, to see the uniqueness. It's a little gem of the school. To see the children interacting with each other and to see the learning that's happening. You can tell the kids love to learn. They're involved, they're engaged, they're motivated. Um, I love that the older children are always around the younger ages, so they're able to, to really guide, to help one another, to, to be the role models for the younger ones. It makes the older students, you know, have that confidence. This is another uh, value that I think a classical Christian school can offer, is that the student is shaped in a self-donating kind of atmosphere, where they learn that life is shared. It's not about me only or primarily, but it's about what, who I am being integrated into the society around me. First of all, in the small context of your classroom and in the small context of your family, in terms of respect and dignity and affection, a wisdom and discerning. And then that broadens out into the society so that we hope that our graduates would be the kind of men and women that could make a difference just by their presence, just by the fact that they are awake to life and that they are awake to some of the deeper meanings of things in life and they can actually present that or offer that 
to those around them, where, whether they become some great leader in the, in the country or the state or the city or whether they're just a good person out there doing what they need to do, uh, you know, in their career path or whatever, that they actually bring something more. I really love the connection between um, our church, our faith, and education. We're shaping our children, you know. We're, we're shaping them for the rest of their lives and teaching them, uh, teaching them what's most important and what is to be valued. So, and I know they're getting that here. Classical education feeds the soul. So what is more important than anything in a classical education is to teach the soul how to thrive and how to live. In any situation, that's what classical education mainly does for the individual. The test scores that we have run show that our, our children test as well, if not better than uh, secular schools. There's no doubt in my mind that not only will they be well equipped to enter into the secular system at whatever point, um, but they will excel and even exceed in my opinion because the school is such a holistic opportunity and a, a way to help children learn how to think how to process issues, how to ask the deeper questions that really will teach them how to excel in any field, in my opinion, because of the well-roundedness and the quality and the sustainability of this kind of education. It'll be attractive uh, to parents who have a value for spiritual things for faith or at least for an awareness that there's something beyond just the material world. We were delighted after having two years worth of, of testing with the Iowa Basic Skills Test the last two school years to find that every student in the school landed in at least the top 10 percentile of the nation. Some of the children, some, especially some of the older children that had been with us uh, for the then three years were in the top one percent and I remember one case at least in one area where one child was off the charts it was just so far beyond the curve or the or the grade uh, in comparison to the national it compared uh, in part how our children are doing in Indiana uh, with Indiana students and the comparison was even more stark in a way it was more pronounced in Indiana our children are getting what I would assert would be the best education you can get in Indiana based on the test scores. You know, to see a, a, a child develop spiritually and um, intellectually ends up being a great encouragement to, to me as a teacher because it, rem it reminds me of, of the need to, to keep that wonder. That's at the, that's at the heart of, of Orthodox Christian evangelism even, is that the transforming of persons one at a time. That's how, that's how the gospel was spread in the beginning, you know, that's the apostolic, that's the apostolic way. So why would it be different for us now? Look into the eyes of a child and you say, there is a gift of life. There is a person that's worth caring about. And if I don't have my own child, then maybe I can care about someone else's child at least a little bit and say, I would like to offer something of myself for the good of this other person. That's really, that's what the Christian value is. The truth is, and orthodoxy proclaims this in every way possible, that we are, whether we like it or not, one human nature. And that every single thing that we do impacts someone else in some way. It's inescapable. It's like the air we breathe. And so if I donate to a school, 
even if I never have the time to visit that school, but if I give money to support it and encourage it in any way, I will benefit in some way from the fruit of my investment because these children will prosper and benefit and then they will grow up and who knows how they will impact the society around me for the good and therefore in some way I am investing in me because me and I are an us Oh. Mm -hmm.